the next step of the design process is to define. Define is to create a problem statement. A problem statement is the guide to what needs to be created and why. You're gonna watch this video, which highlights just the define stage of the design thinking process. And then you're going to go to the next slide. And this right here is going to talk to you about going to the Seesaw account and finding your design thinking journal, okay? If you have a parent that can help and you are able to print, this is a link right here where you can print it out so you can just write on your de design journal. But engineers need to plan out um, their innovations and so this design journal will help you, okay? Once you either have the printable version or you're in Seesaw, you're going to do the define page. The define page looks like this right here. It says who, who has the problem, what is needed to solve the problem, and why, okay? So who has the problem, what is the problem, and why does it need to be solved? So you just read the book, Please Please Bees. You learned about the bear, and the bear had a problem. The bees also had a problem. So you can decide who you want to design for. Do you want to help the bear? Okay, if you do, you're going to write or type in here, the bear needs a way to, and think about what his problem was. If the bear had the problem, okay, he needed a way to get more honey. Or you could say he needed a way to help the bees so that they can make him, him honey. Okay, so you're going to define what the need is and then why. Why is that important? Why do you need to help the, the bear? Okay, if you decide that the bees are the problem, you're going to say the bees need a way to have better living conditions because remember they had lots of problems where they lived and the bear needed to help them, okay? So the bear need a way to have better living conditions so that they can make honey, okay? So that's gonna be what you complete either on paper or on your Seesaw Design Journal.